it is uh, that the scars are absolutely visible and all over the surface, the entire surface. And these scars are subtle. They are not like a big wound. Uh, it's not uh, a scar that deforms the table, but they are there nonetheless. I think it's a collective memory because um, I have interviewed hundreds of, of, of people by now, hundreds of victims. And, and this is like the essence. This is what I, I really learned from them. This, is, this was the, the, the most striking lesson that we all, maybe you and all of us, any viewer, uh, has come across uh, a victim of rape and you don't know because they look like they are whole beings, like, like nothing has happened in the outside, and yet the inside is completely broken up. I think, uh, unfortunately, all of my work is, is related because I'm, I'm dealing with uh, suffering, with human suffering within the context of war. And that brings everything together. I mean, migrants are, are, are leaving their home countries because of war. And again, these this, this victims I interview have been raped within the context of war. So it is this terrible shadow that war throws on on the life of, of the inhabitants of, of that particular territory that really creates a connection between all the pieces I make. It, it was extraordinary to have it in the Crystal Palace because to think of, uh, of these very poor migrants coming to Europe, being, being unable to come to Europe, but always dreaming of coming to Europe, and then their memory kept in this crystal palace was absolutely beautiful. But at the same time, the building itself is distracting. Uh, so I think at Y Cube, it will be more contained. It will be maybe more solemn. And so it is, uh, uh, might be a stronger homage. Uh, I think coming to a, to a closed space that is not distracting, that they have distracting elements. Uh, that's will bring the piece a new life, more solemn, more delicate, more subtle, I hope.